Dog refuses to let baby sleep alone. When parents find out why they call the police. Jesse and David's home situation was very normal until Jesse gave birth to a beautiful daughter. Ever since that moment, their family dog Benji shook things up completely. Benji would not let their daughter sleep alone and when they got separated she would not stop barking. When David realized what was going on he got the shock of his life, he immediately called the police and they came with every available officer. The couple was in shock, they had no idea of the gravity of the situation until now, what the officers came for was disturbing for sure. But the fact that it already started when Jesse was pregnant was even more alarming. They had trusted the wrong people, but why did Benji refuse to let their daughter sleep alone and what did David eventually figure out that such a large police presence was necessary? It all started when Jesse was finally pregnant, they both wanted this for a very long time. However, there was something that was bugging both of them, their dog Benji. They were hesitant about her reaction to the baby, Jesse had read some horror stories only from dogs that would not accept another family member. Jesse and David both hoped that Benji would accept this, otherwise they were definitely going to bring Benji to a shelter. One day when Benji finally noticed that Jesse was pregnant, she started barking at Jesse's belly repeatedly. Benji did not seem happy with the pregnancy, she started to act really weird. They could not figure out what was triggering this behavior. Jesse had to get answers and quick before it would be too late. Jesse asked David to take Benji to the veterinarian, they had to make sure that there was nothing going on with Benji. They did some medical checks to see if the dog was okay, there was nothing wrong, the vet told David. He advised David to take Jesse to the hospital for some checkups, when David brought the news to Jesse, she started crying. She felt like everything was wrong. Jesse mustered up all of her courage to call her doctor, he told her to come in immediately. Jesse called her friend and who was there for her almost every day to take her. She had been helping during the pregnancy around the house, she showed up within minutes to help her friend get to the hospital. The doctor did some elaborate medical tests to make sure everything was alright, the ultrasound as well as other tests did not indicate anything that was wrong with Jesse or the baby. They still did not get the answers they were looking for when they arrived home. And told Jesse that she would become their babysitter, she had plenty of time. There would always be someone there to keep an eye on Benji. A couple of weeks later Jesse finally gave birth to a beautiful girl Lily. Benji had still acted strange but this is one more erratic behavior started happening. The first few weeks everything seemed to go fine, both Jesse and David were home to care for their little girl. Benji seemed to have calmed down but when they started working and called them with some concerning news, she told Jesse that Benji refused to let Lily sleep alone. Benji would not leave her side, Jesse was totally baffled when she told David, he did not think much of it. One day and called in distress, she had separated Benji from Lily and after returning downstairs, she was attacked by Benji. Benji was definitely overprotective David knew that Benji had to be punished for this behavior. With a heavy heart, he went back to the veterinarian and the vet gave David a choice, he could bring Benji to a shelter where he could figure out why Benji was acting this way, because the vet had a feeling something was off. Benji did not trust them to let Lily sleep alone, however David knew deep down that there was something else. For a while they decided to observe Benji together with Lily, Lily seemed to love the dog and then she definitely loved Lily. They could not say goodbye to Benji because she was overprotective. The problem was that whenever David would bring Lily to bed or Lily fell asleep, Benji would be at her side. David just accepted the situation until one day and called to say that she was bitten by Benji. This gave David a sudden realization, David realized that Benji only reacted strangely when and was around. Benji was calm when she was not around and must be the problem. He knew it. Jesse told David that he must calm down, but she refused to let David do anything erratic. Jesse told David that Benji refused to let Lily sleep alone at night as well. So, and couldn't be the problem, could she? Jesse came up with a genius idea, she told David to install cameras around the house to keep an eye on Benji and Lily. This would definitely get some more answers, they could even keep an eye on and during the day and seemed to be hesitant about David installing cameras in the house. She asked if it was necessary and would cause this, David thought this was very suspicious. 
He already did not trust her and now she started asking all of these questions, questions. When David reviewed the first few days of footage, nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Benji was still very protective, Benji constantly kept an eye on and it started to look like Benji did not trust her. David wanted to confront and David had to do this without Jesse knowing. They were best friends, after all David got himself really mad and yelled at Anne. And was totally caught off guard, she assured David she had no bad intentions and fired back at David. She was furious how could she have done anything. Stupid dog behaved like this ever since Jessie was pregnant and she was not even around during the night. Then Jessie came home. Jessie got really mad at David for confronting him like this, she could not believe that he was accusing her best friend of being a threat to Lily. Jessie gave David an ultimatum either figure it out quickly or get rid of Benji. David realized that moment that and had said something that would give him all the answers he needed Benji reacted the same way at night, he had never reviewed the night footage but now he definitely will. David started up the software, he guessed when he realized that every single night the recordings were wiped off the hard drive. There was definitely something really strange going on here. He decided to make a separate encrypted backup every day for the night recordings. David knew for sure that he would get to the bottom of this, Benji had probably noticed something that neither he nor Jesse could sense. The next day David was eager to watch the footage, his suspicion soon got confirmed when he loaded up the recordings. The footage of the baby's room was disturbing, he saw something entering through the window. David was in complete shock, he felt his heart pounding in his chest. When he reviewed more of the footage, he was even more shocked. He had to call the police before this got out of control quickly, quickly. David explained what he had seen, they told him they would immediately send all available officers to his home. David knew he just had discovered something huge, but what warranted such a huge police presence? David called Jesse to come home and with minutes he heard sirens outside his house. The first officers that arrived, Jesse arrived home as well. She demanded an explanation and when David showed her the footage, she fell on her knees. Why an officer? Told Jesse and David that they had to be proud of their dog for sensing this. They reviewed the footage and immediately asked David more questions about their home situation. He explained their dog's behavior and reaction to and they triggered the officer where is she? He asked. They wanted to ask her questions. He gave them her number but she could not be reached. Where was Anne? They asked for more information and Jesse told them everything they wanted to know. Meanwhile, Benchy was upstairs with Lily. When officers entered the room, she immediately ran over to the wall and started barking at it. It looked like Benchy wanted to tell the officer something. There was something hidden in the wall. They used a sledgehammer to destroy the wall, without even asking David or Jesse. There was a hidden compartment behind the wall. What was going on here? Without hesitation they pulled everything out of there including a safe. They had to get a safe cracker, in the meantime other officers were running a background scan on Anne. What they came up with shocked Jesse and David. There was no one, she was not findable in the database nor was she ever registered anywhere. This person whoever was fabricated her whole life. Jessie broke down, she had known her best friend for over 10 years now, how could this be happening? What was in the safe? Eventually a safe cracker arrived and Benchy in the meantime kept barking at the safe. She also kept a close eye on Lily. She smelled something. When the safe cracker was finally done, they realized the gravity of the situation. A whole bunch of money, jewelry, documents and passports were found inside the safe. When opening one of the passports, the officer recognized the person. Jesse screamed that's and they found a hidden stash from Anne. The police captain came to Jesse, he told them that they were dealing with an international spy named Elizabeth Holmes. She was wanted in 17 countries for espionage. Jesse was shocked. The reason she infiltrated the lives of Jesse and David is that David works as the director of the national security. He has access to the entire national security grid. Elizabeth had probably been hired by a rival company to leak secrets, at night she wiped the footage and tried cracking David's computer. Benchy was the only one that noticed something about Elizabeth. 
This is why Benchy tried her very best to protect Lily from any threat that she could sense. Benchy had cracked this case wide open, officers told David that he should be very proud of their dog. Eventually they managed to catch Elizabeth trying to leave the country. She had noticed the police presence at the house and she was not going to get caught, but when she did, she confessed everything. Benchy saved the day.